we pretend that these things that she's showing on Instagram are the end all be all to her life. Your eyes were bright green and they pulled me into you. It's always summer in your arms. thing I want to address is this whole comparison thing. So I talked about what it is at the beginning it's when we mindlessly scroll through social media and wonder why we don't look like Sally on Instagram or why we don't have that travel bloggers life. And trust me, I am so guilty of this. Um, it took a lot of work for me to stop comparing myself to others so much and it's really hard especially because comparison is at the tip of our fingertips. Like every time we hold our phone, we are vulnerable to falling into a comparison rut. So it's really, really hard to snap out of it. So here's the process that happens when you compare yourself to somebody else. So say you're on Facebook or Instagram and Sally on Instagram is getting married in Europe and everything's beautiful. She has a beautiful dress. She has a beautiful romantic partner. Her life is easy and effortless and beautiful and you're sitting here in your bedroom just like spooned ice cream out of the pint and went through a breakup with your boyfriend. So in this situation, what's happening is you're looking at somebody's photo, making up all the stories about their life, assumptions, that you don't even know to be true, and taking those assumptions as the basis of your comparison. So you're not comparing Sally to you in just one area of your life. Like you're not just comparing Sally's grades to your grades or Sally's profession to your profession or her boyfriend to, to your boyfriend. You're not doing that. You're comparing that one little image just showing a select few things that she wants you to see and you're comparing your entire life, your entire behind the scenes to somebody else's highlight reel. So no wonder so many people are just depressed. Like this just sounds absolutely terrible. And we pretend that these things that she's showing on Instagram are the end all be all to her life. We don't see anything behind the scenes. We don't see any of the fights happening. We don't see any of the hard work that she may have put into that. Um, we don't see what she looks like in the morning or after crying. We don't see any of that. We just see that one thing she wants us to see, but we take that one artificial thing and compare our entire reality to that one artificial thing. But because we do have the capacity to be aware of these things, once we're aware of them, they become a lot less detrimental. It's so much easier to snap out of something if you see Sally on Instagram getting married to the love of her life in Europe and thinking, oh, I'm happy for her, but also she has probably had very vulnerable moments of her own because we're all human and we all do. And it doesn't mean that I'm any more or less than her just because she shows that one highlight photo. The third thing I want to talk about when it comes to confidence is body image. So our body image, it's such a journey to work on how we see ourselves and how we experience our bodies because of a, a lot of our body image has become very disconnected from our body experience. So I talked about this in my last video um, about exercising and eating disorder recovery, how we're so focused on how we look like that we disregard how we feel like. So if you're looking to become confident in your body, here's some unconventional advice. Fake it till you freaking make it. So this doesn't mean be fake. Fake it till you make it means that you adopt what a confident person would be like into yourself as if you're already that person. So this is like the premise of the law of attraction. Um, if you guys know anything about the law of attraction or perhaps you've watched the documentary The Secret, um, the first thing it tells you is that you have to pretend like whatever it is that you want is already in existence because it is. Confidence is already out there. All you have to do is adopt it to yourself. So what this looks like is asking yourself questions like, how would a confident person dress? 
How would a confident person speak? How would they carry themselves? What would they put on social media? Um, what kind of presentation would they give at school or work? How would they, what would they do at night? What would they do in the morning? What does their self care look like? So really outlining for yourself what confidence means to you and then you become that simply by just deciding that you are confident and simply by taking those action steps. So a lot of confidence just comes from doing things that make you confident over and over and over and over again. So for me, what really makes me feel confident is when I'm speaking, when I'm ma making videos for YouTube or um, I'm writing in my journal or I'm posting something on social media. So for me, confidence looks like delivering a message. And whenever I deliver a message, I feel very empowered. So it's about asking yourself, what's going to make me feel confident and empowered and comfortable in my skin? Maybe you love fashion design, and for you, you feel the most confident when you're wearing that stunning outfit, or you're really good at doing hair and you wanna do your hair, or you're an incredible mom, and the more time you spend with your kids, the more empowered you feel. Or maybe you're a blogger on social media, or you're a student and you wanna put all your energy into academics and get really, really good at that and feel good about that. So. Your body image is just so much more than what you see in the mirror. Your body image is more about the daily things that you do that add up, that let you experience your body positively, and that allow you to be confident in the long run. So since you stuck around, I would love if you gave me a thumbs up on this video since it helps me create more videos and drop a comment below letting me know your biggest takeaway or maybe what you struggle with the most when it comes to confidence. I have so many resources on confidence and self-love and eating disorder recovery. I'm really excited to announce that my website, Mary's Cup of Tea, is up. So if you wanna browse through that, look at some blog posts, you are more than welcome to. I'll link that below as well. I love you guys so much. Peace and self-love. Look at me now. I guess the doubts are...